Jake Sully has a peaceful life as chief of the Omatakea clan and raises a family. He also adopted a human boy named Spider, the son of Miles Quaritch, born on Pandora but was unable to be transported to Earth. Spider does not embrace his human heritage and feels more inclined to Nasik's culture. They lead a normal life until humans want to colonize Pandora again. Among the new arrivals is Colonel Quaritch, who has been cloned into a Nasik's body. During a playful venture, Jake's children and Spider are captured by Quaritch. Jake's children are saved, but Spider is taken by Quaritch, who recognizes him as his son. RDA tries to extract information about Jake from Spider who refuses to provide. Quaritch addresses Spider as his son, Spider finally teaches Quaritch about Nasik's culture, though he is unaware of Quaritch's actual mission. Knowing the danger Spider's knowledge of his whereabouts poses, Jake retreat to a coral reef island. Even though some tribesmen deride Jake for their genetic human heritage, the family learns the ways of the reef people earning their respect. Later Quaritch is able to track their rough location and violently question the indigenous tribes about Jake's exact location. Jake's children are captured by Quaritch and Jake confronts front the RDA vessel. Quaritch gives an ultimatum to Jake to surrender or risk having his children killed. Jake surrenders to avoid further bloodshed on Pandora. Meanwhile, Spider who grows sick of the RDA's motives, attacks the vessel crew and runs off to save Jake's children. They freed Pyokan and it attacks the whalers, killing most of the crew. Spider finds his dying father Quaritch and is initially hesitant to save him. However, he begrudgingly rescues him Spider then renounces Quaritch for his cruelty, ending his relationship with him and rejoins Jake's family. In the aftermath, Jake decides to leave Metkayina and move far away. Chief Tanawari, however, respectfully identifies him as part of the Metkayina clan and welcomes his family to stay. Jake and his family adopt the Metkayina's identity and forge a new life at the sea. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.